Blank. Dan ngomong dulu. Tuh sampai ada yang pasti gitu. Helen. strike workout is a 45 minutes boxing conditioning I hope you guys are ready we need some equipments for today's workout you will need the mat and one chair yeah it how big the chair up to you and also your water bottle and then your uh, towel. towel yes okay so uh, we will take you through the warm-up okay for three minutes and then after that we'll straight doing the six punches So anytime if you uh, joining like after <coughs> seven or after seven ten, it doesn't matter. Just join in and or you can always check the video later on on Pure Fitness official YouTube. Okay, we going to post the workout there as well. And that's it. Oh, and we forgot to introduce ourselves. I'm Cindy. This is Nove. Yes. Yeah. And remember, if you need to take a break during the workout, please take a break. And don't forget, make sure you know uh, if the workout is too intense, you can rest a little bit or you can do the option. After you gain your strength back, you can go to the normal workout. Yeah. Are you ready? Woo! Right. Yes. So make sure you want to work out at your own um, own strength level. Okay. So you can push yourself, but if you think you're not comfortable with that, You can always hold back a little bit, or you can always modify yourself. If you don't know how to modify, you can always ask us, uh, the instructors or the coach, a few sports, or you can always type a comment and we'll reply later. So let's go. Let's get it on. We're going to start with three minutes, war three minutes warm up, and here we go. Okay. So let's get into the squat, jumping up. Yeah, just push your hips back, lift your chest. Yes. And you're gonna want to go too low. Or if you want to go too low, that's, uh, that's okay too, as long as you can keep your tailbones out. Now, squat and heel raise. Down. Nice. Squeeze the bottom of your eyes. Get into the bottom of your foot. Feel the posterior chain start activating right now. Give it a four, three, two, last one. Now get into the end of your mat. You want to roll yourself down. Just give yourself four times. Three more. Last two. And the last one, you're going to stay down. And then walk your hands forward in the blind position. Get your right leg back. <laughs> Get your right leg forward. No. In the work, this is open. the stretch. Okay. Take your right arm up. And then bring your right arm down. Rotate your thoracic spine on your chest. Just three, each side. And back to the plank. Left leg forward. Keep your left arm up. And down. You can get into high lunge, or you can put your knee on the floor. Last one. The reason of doing this is to get a better movement on the thoracic, uh, thoracic spine. Push your hips back and up. Get into the ground pressing down, and then plank. And then do it again. A little bit of shoulder mobility right here. And then forward. And then last one, right leg forward. Left leg forward and then back. Left leg forward, right leg forward <laughs> and then back. Last one. Just 
Good. Now, you want to walk your hands back toward your legs. Roll yourself up. Roll your shoulder. Two, three, four. From here, you want to bring your arms up. Bring your arms back and forward. Feel the shoulder socket moving. So you're moving from here. So arms up, roll to the back. Last one. Good. Now, I want you to get ready for the six punches. We're going to practice the punches. If you're right-handed, you're going to put your left leg at the front. If you're left-handed, put your right leg at the front. One, jab. This is jab. Your front arm is jab. Now two is cross. 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 Let's do one, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Now, front hook, three. Three. Your front. Okay, the leading arm. Good. Keep it up. Now, rear hook is four. Four. You want to rotate from here. Not too much. Just a slight rotation. Now, three and four. Yeah. Three, four. Three, four. Three, four. Let's do one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Just one thing that you need to remember. There is a front and there is a rear. So every time your leaning arm goes forward, it's a front or lead. Now five, six. Five, six. Lead arm, rear arm. Good. Five, six. The upper cut. You drop into your legs. You lay outside. You feel the rotation on your obliques. Five, six. Five, six. Five, six. Five, six. Now one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One more time. Now I'm going to teach you how to do slip. Slip, slip. Okay, slip, slip. So you go down. Imagine there is an imaginary piece of string of your head. You want to get under it or duck yourself down. Good. Down, down. We're going to use the slip for our workout later on. Slip, slip. Slip, slip. You want to keep your feet wide. Good. Now, we got 30 seconds preparation. The three minutes cardio, each movement will be one minute. First minute, burpees, chest to floor, okay? Second minute, scissor, scissor lunge, scissor, scissor lunge. Third minute, chain tap. Right arm, tap to your left leg, okay? Each movement, one minute. Non stop. Yeah? Let's go. You can place up, or you can do the option which is not touching the floor.
So you just want to go up and hinge. Okay, so it's more on the hinge instead of squatting. But you put all of the squat, all of the lunges. Okay? So you're focusing on the hinge movement. So bring your body forward, but keep your back straight. Rotate your chest.
We got 16 seconds, guys. Oh my god! 
You want to drop the knee down when you get into the lunge. So it's like just stuck and lengthen the legs. No, drop the back knee down. same time but more in the upper body you will need to go down to your mat here you're gonna do bear row to renegade row so I'll show you from the side from plank position you're gonna jump to your bear uh, position elbows up jump elbows up yep ready punches and then the punches will be three four so after you go bear row and your renegade row, three, four. Okay? 90 seconds of that. Ready? In three, give it two, one. Go. <laughs> Whoa. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah. After renegade row, you're gonna come up. Three, four. Yeah. Go down, jump, up, up, jump back. Three, four. Now you want to make sure your back always flat to engage that back muscles of yours. Squeeze your shoulder base as you pull the elbows up. Awesome. Do it again. Up, up. Jump back to plank. Yes. Thank you, Toto. <laughs> Are you reminding us? Here. Up, up. If it's too much for you, you're going to drop your knees down and then go to your plank position and keep doing the row. Yeah? And after you're going to come up and do the three, four. Yeah? Pull up that ass. Yes. How are you, Nobe? Good. I can feel my back muscle now. Yo. Catch your breath, not more than 10 seconds. 
Plank. All right, time. Yeah, sure. Next one, Plank. You're going to sit down on your mat. I'm going to show you from the side. L, shake, press. Here, extend your legs, extend your upper body, and you're just going to bring your arms up four times. Three, four, and you're going to come up. Do five, six, three for your punches. Let's try again. Sit down. One, two, three, four. Come up. Five, six, three. Go down again. Now imagine you want to reach up to the sky. You really need to lengthen the arms up. Lengthen your back spine. Feel your back muscles working. Try again. And at the same time, you're going to feel that shoulders as you bring that press. As you do that press. Yeah. Up. Two. Three. Four. Now. If that's too easy for you, you can make the pace a little bit faster to challenge more your cardiovascular. Yeah. Let's go. One, two, three, three four. Oh. Yes. That's it. I don't know if you guys can feel it, but my heart rate is going up. How about you, Nobe? Oh, I'm fighting it. And remember when you're starting to get too challenging? What we do? Breathe. Breathe okay. and smile. Whoa. Again. It's very good also for your shoulder mobility and to shape that top of your shoulders. All right. You got that right? Next one. We have back extension, we have push ups. So you're going to lay down facing the mat, all your hands wider than your shoulders. Okay. Legs together. You're going to bring your upper body up and come up to your push ups. On your knees, on your toes. And after that, you're going to come up. You're going to do four, three, two, one. Yeah? Four, three, two, one. Okay. Go. One back extension, one push ups, and then. Four, three, four, three, two, one. Even I almost forgot about that. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah. Woo! Go. Up. Four, three, two, one. Now you want to make sure you don't lift the back of your legs as you do that back extension because you want to focus on your back muscle chair do more. Squeeze your bones, squeeze your thighs. Let's go. Up. And then come up. Four, three, two, one. Do it again, please. Let's go. Up. Four, three, two, one. Yes. Let's go. See how high you can lift your upper body? And again, if it's too much doing the push-ups on your knees, uh, on your toes, do it on your knees. Yeah? Almost there, guys. Lift. Yeah. Four, three, two, one. Woo. Last one. You have four times tricep dips, and then one, two, three, four. So you can do it with your chair. Here, tricep dips. Hands together, close it together, make sure your elbows always in. And you're gonna do four, three, two, one. And you're gonna come up. One, two, three, four. Yes? Ready? Go. Four triceps lips. Four, three, two, one. And one, two, three, four. Yes. Again, go. Now, do you see the options? If you want more challenge, you can do like Nove. As you do the tricep dips, you extend the legs fully. That will give more challenge for your triceps. 
Yes. And up. We go. One, two, three, four. If it's too intense, you can bend the knees like me. And see how long well you can bend the elbows. One, two, three, four. If using the chair is too much, you can also do it on the floor. Yeah? On your mat. That's for lesser intensity. One, two, three, four. Yes. Again, please. Whoa. Let's go. Boom, boom. Now, if you're working out with a partner, you might want to challenge your partner with him or faster. Uh, <laughs> no. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, well, it's up to you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was too fast for me. I gotta even keep up. Go, go, go. Four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four. 20 seconds more, team. Let's go. No, recovery. Oh, recovery. Oh. <laughs> Break the cardio one. We're gonna go back to your cardio one. You guys remember that cardio? Oh, yeah. Woo! Our favorite. Huh? Burpees. <laughs> Three, two, one. Cardio one. And then 
Sit on corkscrew and plank, shoulder tap. So when you do Russian twist, hit, you know that one? Yeah, twist, yeah. Lean back a little bit so you'll feel that engagement on your core, yeah? Get yourself ready. We have 10 seconds. Ready. Three, two, one, go. Try to touch the floor as you twist. That will give you more workout for your old legs. Yes. And try not to do this one. Go in forward. Lean back and see how that feels. It feels amazing. Again, the intensity up to you. You want to go faster, you can do it, or you can slow down. Just as long as you really twist the upper body of yours and your abs. Yeah? Good. Oh, yeah. I can feel that. We're going to make that abs on fire. On fire. <laughs> Almost 30 seconds. Twenty-five. If you feel the earthquake in your belly, totally fine. <laughs> Fifteen. Oh. Ten. And rest. Woo. Go, girl. And what the sweats if you need to? Next one. Your corpse sweating. No, mountain climber. Cross mountain climber. Cross climber. So you're going to open your hands, shoulder distance or wider. And you're going to bring your opposite knee to the opposite elbow. Yeah? Ready? Give three buddy. In three, two, one. Go. You can do it slow first, or you can do it on your knees. I'll show you from the side. You can do it also on your knees. Just make sure you bring your hips slightly forward so you'll feel that engagement on your core. Yes. Yes. One. You can slow it down a little bit. Or you can do it a little bit faster. If you're really a cardio person, if you want to challenge your cardio and endurance, do faster, like nobody. Or you can do it one by one. And again, whenever you need time for rest, you can just slow down, catch your breath five seconds, and then go again. Yes. Thank you, Sean. <laughs> And make sure you don't bring your hips too high. Yeah? Catch your breath. And don't lock your elbows, everybody. Soften your elbows. Oh, that's too hard. But we have 30 seconds left. Let's go. Woo! Oh, I need to catch that breath. 16 seconds. Come on. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's a long time of one minute and five seconds. Next seated core screw. So here. Yeah, we're gonna hands to the back. Not too wide. Bring a little bit closer. Bring your elbows in. You need to lean back. Bend the elbows slightly. So you literally just bring your knees to your chest and then extend. But now, you need to twist your legs or your hips side to side. Yeah? Go. Now, make sure you really twist side to side. Okay. Yeah. And try to keep the legs together as much as you can. Don't open your knees wide as you bring that knees to the chest. How far you can extend your legs? Up to you. Okay, so extend the legs fully. Squeeze your inner thighs. 
squeeze your bum. Oh, my hips on fire. Go, go, go. Don't put the body weight on your arms. Body weight on your abs, your butt, and your legs, please. Oh. Come on, your belly. 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 If you have a hips problem, don't do this one. You can only lean back. Don't just a hip. Or you can lift your hips up like that. Yeah. <laughs> 12 seconds. Almost there, guys. Four, three, two, one. Oh, what else? Last one. Play the shoulder tap. <laughs> I just realized we do a lot of play today, don't we? <laughs> love playing. But hey, we love playing. It's upper body and lower body core at the same time. Hands wider than your shoulders at shoulder distance, and you're gonna tap that shoulders. You don't need to go too fast. Start with slow movement and try to go faster. Two, one, go. You can try on your toes first. After a few repetitions, if it's too intense, you can drop the knees and that. You wanna make sure you don't move your hips too much. So keep your hips square there. And again, whenever you need that break, you can lift your jaw pose, stretch your arms first, and then go up again. Yeah? Don't bring your knees here. Yep, yeah, you really want to challenge yourself a little bit more. Push your hips a little bit more so you feel that abs really being activated. No, there. Yeah, almost done. Yeah. 40 seconds long, which feels like whatever. <laughs> Come on, girl. No. No.
Thank you, everybody. Hope you enjoy the workout. Give you some applause. Come on, Tom, Nove, and Cindy. Yo! And we sure we're going to see you in the gym. Thank you very much for joining. I'll see you guys next time.